guys, and welcome to Who Say. This is the Power of Influence, and today I am joined by the new Power Rangers. How cool is that? We have Ludi Lin, RJ Kyler, and Dacre Montgomery. Welcome, you guys. The answer to what is happening to you is here. You five are the Power Rangers. Did I just hear you say we're Power Rangers? Is this some kind of joke? We're talking to a wall. Let's talk a little bit about your characters, because I love how this film is really about a group of people who maybe otherwise wouldn't be friends coming together, teamwork, and, you know, just really kind of uh, fighting evil, the very evil Elizabeth Banks, who is uh, pretty badass. So why don't we talk about Zach, Billy, and Jason a little bit. Who wants to start? OK, I'll start with okay, Zach. Ludi, I'll start, with, start Zach. with Zach, the Black Power um, Ranger. The Black Power Ranger. Yeah. So Zach, Zach the Black is a Black Power Ranger. He's like the outsider, you know. Mm. Um, shares a lot of similarities with myself in that I moved around a lot as a kid. And I kept on feeling like an outsider a lot of times, right? And um, I was born in China, and I found the perfect phrase in Chinese to, to describe him. It's 不打不成交, which means if you don't fight someone, you don't really get to know them deeply. Oh. Interesting. Them. Yeah. Interesting. And like good. not to spoil it, but there is a scene in the film where you kind of suggest that you guys all need to get to know one another better in order to sort of better harness your power as the new rangers. So Yeah, uh, funny enough, like Power Rangers is one of those things that's lasted years and years, like decades and decades, mm -hmm. fans all over the world. Yeah. You know? And after we filmed we filmed this thing um, about a year ago. And just about two weeks ago, I was watching this documentary when one of the lines in the film finally hit me. And not to give it away or anything, but it was, it was a line about um, shedding your mask to okay. don the armor. Right. And then I was watching this documentary, and they were talking about shedding the mask that society puts on you, mm -hmm. and then finally being able to, you know, be your true self, mm -hmm. let your true self mm -hmm. come out. I was just like, oh my god, Power Rangers, you're so wise. <laughs> so it's meta. It's yeah, so yeah meta. it's totally meta. We, we yeah. did it, we didn't actually, that's interesting, is, uh, we, did, we did an exercise in drama school about shedding your mask, I guess, very meta. And we would look a classmate in the eye and we would have direct eye contact with them and there was something about looking at somebody else so intently and seeing past that mask that society puts up. And I think the film gave us an opportunity as a group of five to really delve into what, like, not just his character, but RJ as well, and getting to know each other as friends and sort of stripping back all those layers mm -hmm. so that we could show these real but flawed characters at the same time, right. which I hope that the audience is able to connect with. Well, okay, let's talk about um, your character, Jason, because yeah. I feel like, you know, you're the golden boy of your school, but made a few mistakes along the way. You got the pressure from your dad, and then, of course, you take on the role as the lead ranger, the red ranger. Um, so tell me a little bit about getting into character for that. Yeah, so I play Jason, the red ranger, and I, I would say on the back of that, it's actually more of an ensemble piece. I feel like these are, you know, without each other, we aren't the five, as mm. cliched as that might sound. Right. And, um, yeah, but at, when we first meet Jason at the beginning of the film, he is sort of perceived as being this, you know, jock, this high school hero, football star. But I think he is fundamentally flawed in that capacity. And I don't think that he is that character. He seeks relationship with the other people in the different social classes in the school, which I think is a representation of me. I didn't play school. Uh, I didn't play sport in school, and I wasn't really that popular kid. So I was able to kind of try and mesh what people think Jason is mm -hmm. with my experience of high school and give this character that I hope is multifaceted, diverse, interesting, and kind of, you know, hopefully captivates the audience to go, why is he making the decisions that he makes at the end of the day? And he's very likable as well. You play him mm. in a really likable way, so. You've seen the film. I have seen the film. Hey. And, and you know, it was crazy, hey. and I already said this I when we started rolling. I thought you did a lot of homework. I'm like, no, 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 like when I was watching it, I was like, oh my God, like when this film first came out, like the original Power Rangers film came out, I was already a teenager and you guys weren't born. <laughs> so I felt it super makes us feel like babies. Mm -hmm. oh, so like actually, because <laughs> we all saw the film, and of, of course we're a little biased, right? But you're not, so what did you think of the film? I actually really, really loved it. I thought that um, I, th I had to like send my, my thoughts to the like to your people afterwards, and I was like, it's like the Breakfast Club got given special superpowers, <laughs> and they all like really came together, and it was like, I loved the reboot of it as well, because obviously having seen the original, I love all of like those new modern changes. I loved the kind of almost like sexual ambiguity of Trini's character. I thought there was a lot of like really nice little tweaks to make it really fitting for today's audiences. So I 
hope that you guys enjoyed being a part of the movie we as did, much as I enjoyed right. watching it. Let's talk about your character, Billy, um, the Blue Ranger. Yeah. Azul. Yeah, Azul. Oh, I love Brazil. Uh, but Billy is <laughs> shout out to Billy. Is such a sweetheart. Yeah, Billy is is this like wholehearted little pillow of just mm, you know. Yeah, you sort of hug him the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He's he's really he's he's not too good with social clubs, you know, like the rest of our characters are. Um, he's really socially awkward, and he takes that that chance to grab other friends because the one person that he had left, he doesn't have anymore, right? And so. Number yeah. one right here was Andrew the first, Jason. yeah, 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 the first friend that Billy makes outside of, you know, um, just Billy's but little world, you know. Screen. Yeah, yeah, Without yeah. cutting you, I didn't mean to cut you, I just no, meant No, but like, it's very obvious that the three yeah. of you obviously oh, yeah, have we, a really wonderful yeah. bond. So tell me what it was like, you guys meeting for the first time and then inhabiting these these characters. I actually met this guy uh, for the first time, like. Oh, yeah, at the tea to, house. Yeah, at the tea house. Yeah. yeah. Like the tea house? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I, I I grew up part of my life in Vancouver, right? Yeah. So I was like, they were com coming to Vancouver mm -hmm. to to shoot the movie. I felt like I gotta, you know, orientate these guys, but we just fell into place. Like yeah, the we second night when all the cast was in place, we went to Billy's house or RJ's house, really his crib. That was like the headquarters of the of the cast outside the Power Rangers, and we had this table read that night. And then um, like through this night, we like we laughed, we cried. We got angry. It was the it was the best night ever. We just bonded ever since. Yeah, yeah. and that definitely shows on screen as as well as off, which is wonderful. And I mean, I would be remiss if I didn't ask Brian Cranston. Mm. Did you actually get to meet him and work with him in person? It was I, it was later in the development, and I think something that we've all said. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is that I mean, obviously Brian Cranston has such a special place in this industry, and he is an incredible individual and a creative and. You know, we worked with somebody else throughout the shooting process, but knowing after that that he was coming onto the project and now having seen the film, he brings such a special element. And I think I can speak for all of us, hopefully, when I say that we're all really excited to to get to do hopefully some promotional stuff with him. And also, you know, if there are more films and more content to get to work with him again in the future, I think is a blessing. Sure. Yeah, I mean, he, he is a gem. Um, even even as, you know, a face in a wall, a Zordon, he's still just like, phenomenal. Um, did you actually watch the original film in order to prepare to, to do the reboot? Well, well, RJ and I were big fans. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I don't think we had to go and re-watch it because we already knew Who's what Power there? Rangers was. Yeah, I got, right. I got a lot of behind whoopings behind Power Rangers, mostly because I used to break stuff trying to do the stuff that they did. <laughs> so the original cast, yeah, all of y'all got to see me. Um, but it's it's really cool to be able to take on that, you know that 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 role of who you used to dress up as. Because I used to dress up as a Power Ranger for you know when I was younger, right? Which I would color? always have to be. I would mentally be different colors. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I would be the blue or mm -hmm. I would be the black one. But they don't make blue trash bags like that. So <laughs> you gotta use the, what you got. All right. Right. Uh, get resourceful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be resourceful. <laughs> um, and no, it, it was just really cool to just be able to take something that was so close to me and my brothers, right? And, and make it into my rendition of, of what Billy Cranston is, you know? And they still haven't said congratulations yet. They just say, don't mess it up. But that's cool, because they'll say congratulations. Well, later. that's another question. I mean, you're stepping into these characters that have been loved uh, for, you know, 20 years. So what's your mindset? Do you feel pressure? Do you feel like this is your opportunity to take something that is beloved and turn it into your own? How does that kind of work for you guys? I think naturally there is a huge responsibility. I mean. The IP already has such a huge following, but I think there is a big emphasis on the fact that we are bringing something new to this IP. We, it is a reimagining. I mean, you've seen the film now. It, it's new characters. We bring our own little elements to it. So with the kind of responsibility that comes with just generally uh, representing a superhero and a vigilante and what that means to people in society, both in and out of costume, in and off on and off screen, um, so there is a responsibility there, but also it's kind of nice to be able to bring our own little, you know, aside from the original um, content. Yeah. I think yeah. totally, because in this movie, it's kind of like an origin film. And then we delve much deeper into the characters, mm -hmm. kids, than, um, than like the Power Rangers themselves. You know, it's yeah. like the beginning of their journey of becoming a hero. And then, well, I've said this in the past too, like there's a lot of responsibility for myself too, right? I don't want to mess this up. It's mm -hmm. my own childhood memory. But truly, if I were to be perfectly honest, I just wanted to have fun with it. It's like not, like truthfully, I wasn't that pressured because there's so much in the script to, 
to create, yeah. to newly develop, that it was very exciting. So I think uh, I think this reimagining is gonna is gonna. I don't know. It's a lot of fun, right? It and is. It has a lot of different things in it that people don't expect. Totally. Well, it's really nice to see a film where you guys are presented with the opportunity to be superheroes, and oftentimes in films like that, a lot of the film is agonizing over whether or not. I should do this. And mm -hmm. you guys, like, you're not reluctant superheroes. You're kind of suspicious, but you know, you, like, you embrace these roles and you embrace the friendship that comes from that. And I really loved seeing that. Mm -hmm. um, and seeing is like, this is the reimagining of it. And we do talk a lot about social media here at Who Say. Um, just a quick question about how you have found social media has, you know, helped you in the promotion of this film and the mm -hmm. advancement of your careers, good and bad experiences. Any little anecdotes you care to share? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm probably not as actively engaged on social media. You got the most followers on this couch. What do you but, know? But no, no, I just, because like, I have two things that I'd love to, I'd love to say. Um, one, one is that I am not as socially active, and social media is such a great outlet. Don't get me wrong, I think it's fantastic that we live in a day and age, one, where everything's so accessible. And, uh, and, uh, and I feel great because we have the opportunity to connect with fans and every opportunity that we get in interviews like this or anything else, it's so great to be able to talk so positively about the film and about my friends you know, and my castmates who are the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I also, a big shout out to like Will Smith who, who there's a quote which he gives which is something really nice about you know, being able to have the privacy of your own life and also be able to promote projects as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that he is able to juggle that so well. He's really nice and gives everything in public, but is also able to have an off-screen kind of thing. So yeah, I'm in the process of learning. Stick with me, people. I mean, I'm still learning how to use social media and juggle my personal life. But I think it is incredible that we have that outlet. And I thank everybody who's following us and tuning in. And I hope you guys all like the film, yeah. I think everyone's gonna love the film. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, social media for me, I just, it, it's really cool to be able to use as like a, a way of advertisement, right? Mm -hmm. But to live by social media, goodness gracious. It's like, go out and meet people. <laughs> like, it's, it's, a, it's a really great tool, you know? It's almost like a Prius with a Hemi in it. It's not needed, <laughs> but it's really cool, you know? Yeah. That's no, a good, I that's like how RJ really uses yeah, it. Yeah. I, see, I see you on yeah. you know, Instagram Live and doing the DJ thing. I like how you see it. You use it as an outlet for your own art and your own creativity. Yeah. I think that's how it's got to be. It's got to mm -hmm. be meaningful to you, not just as you know, uh, just as like just random advertisements. Yeah. I, to yeah. Also, it's like you post what you want to post. Like people yeah. that post for other people, most miserable people on earth. Oh my goodness gracious! They're like RJ, why don't you post this? Because I don't care about it. Why would I post it? Like goodness gracious! It's like. When people start to let that become what dictates how they are and change their personality, then yeah. they just become, you know, another, another yeah. copy of somebody else. You right. know, it's like pop off, do your own thing. You know, like such oh my wisdom. Gosh. I love it. Yeah, I think it's re being respectful of the platform, but also respectful that you have your own, you are your own person. You know, and that social media doesn't dictate that. Well, but I think it's safe to say, having seen your performances in this film, you're all gonna have to get used to trying to keep that balance of professional and personal, because you guys are just like stars on the rise. I know that you have a ton of really cool projects between the three of you coming up, which I'm very excited to see. Stranger it's Things for you, a new show on Showtime for you. Ludi, what's up? Uh, I what's hope you guys, there? you know, learn some Chinese, because I want to I want to do some some stuff for um, the country where I was born in yeah. and where I come from. And I also want to represent um, Asian actors just in, in uh, like, worldwide media in general. Mm -hmm. Not playing a role, not playing a stereotype, but playing um, an actual character, like a complex character, like in this movie. I like Zach, yeah, through. he's definitely yeah. very complex. And you play him perfectly. So, and guys. He speaks Mandarin. But yeah, but yeah. you also, like, one of my favorite movies is one of Ludi's movies. It's called Monster Hunt. Mm -hmm. And I, me and my mom watch it together. Um, his mom Aww. is you know the best. Yeah. The best cook and, and mm. great taste in the movies. That's why I'm yeah. in such bad shape. Isn't that one of the best. top grossing Chinese films of all time? One of them. That's amazing. <laughs> he says it like it's nothing. Yeah, he he, so just play, he plays it, it off. This thing grows like however many tens and tens of millions of dollars. Wow. That's great. I gotta Did say, it? I really hope there is a sequel <laughs> of this film really. because to see you guys together again on screen would just be magic. Like, obviously, uh, you're just killing it. So, congratulations, Thank you guys. so much. All right, friends, well, make sure you go and check out the new Power Rangers film. It's in cinemas on March 24th. If you were a fan of the original, you're gonna love this. If you're new to the franchise, you're still gonna love it. So make sure you go and check it out.